identified the threat as a man right there with the machine gun. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. What they're protesting is there was a shooting in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The cop shot a homeless man. I don't know the entire story. Allegedly, the homeless man had a knife or something, and he got shot and killed. And there's a big protest going on down there about it, and they took up the protest up here. And I believe that's what the protest was. <laughs> This group routinely protests um, different things in the city, whether it's a big protest lately by this group has been a, the um, camping ban ordinance that was established by the city. Very okay. you're familiar with that. Yeah. So several several local businesses supported that um, that law, and um, those businesses were actively protested by this group. I got that on film. Do not exercise your constitutional right. You will be arrested. What's it all about? It's yeah. about uh, police brutality. Police brutality. And that's exactly what happened here. Urban camping man is why I'm here. I hurt people every day. A lot of the cops that work these protests have done it a lot, so we're familiar with these groups. But what we try to do at the command officers, if you ever listen to them in the beginning, typically a command officer will give some uh, general orders to the group that we want them to abide by, like not walking in the street, not blocking traffic, not walking against signals, um, that kind of thing. And they'll be told, typically, not to do that several times. If they continue to do it, then people will get arrested. Okay. That's what typically. Hey, you guys are here. Clear the tracks so I can get a ride home. Can I get a ride home? And I said, listen, let's get the, the guys that were arrested, let's get them out of here and process them. And, and then let's get our guys back in our cars and leave. You know what I mean? Because we're just sometimes if sometimes we're a show for them. You know, if we entertain what they're doing and, and congregate close to them, they would rather just stay right there and protest us. You know, because it really is a protest about us. Just. started it we almost started we almost started a riot so that means that their intent is different than what they were portraying because they were necessarily trying to get a response that they got
on. Just, just know this. You know, even when we're standing here and it feels like we're doing it, nothing. We're actually screwing everything up for Denver, right? <laughs> we, they're, they're mobilizing them to bring their vehicles over. So every yeah. time we we'll stop, every, I know, I know. So every time that we stop, we yeah. may feel like this is boring, yeah. but we're actually causing them to have to do tons. And then we eventually see it. Yeah. So, so it doesn't hurt to do this, right? Okay, we're not. You know, we're not wasting our time. All right, um, interruption. Yeah. So who wants to go to Spear and who wants to go to 16? 16. 16. Where is more visible? 16. Spear. 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 I mean, what, what we have a chance to do with Spear is, is mess up quite a bit of traffic. Yeah. And, and, you know, the, the 16th Street, you don't do that. It's not a disruption. Yeah. 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 Yeah.